Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a baby favorites, baby necessities kind of video. Just products and things that has saved me being a first time mom because I am still getting the hang of things. Um, I'm still, you know, trial and error with so many products. So I just wanted to share my favorites, things that has worked for me that I think might work for you if you guys are expecting or if you guys just wanna try any of these products out. A lot of these are like baby basics which I feel like that's what I should name this video is baby basics, you know, like swaddles and pacifiers and stuff like that. But again, it's trial and error with swaddles, it's trial and error with pacifiers, literally everything. So I'm just gonna share with you what works for me. What works for me might not work for you and that's totally okay. Um, but yeah, I just really love these products that I'm about to show you. So before this video starts, I do want to say that this video is in partnership with Bye Bye Baby, which is crazy. Bye Bye Baby is like every mom's dream store because they have everything. When I was pregnant, the first thing that I wanted to do was find a Bye Bye Baby and go into the store. I remember the first time I went in there, I was like, where do I even start? They have clothes, they have car seats, diaper bags, nursing stuff, like pregnancy things. They have so much stuff. Um, and I, I seriously, when they wanted to work with me, I was like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's like my favorite store. So definitely check them out. They have an app. I believe they have curbside pickup. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure that they do. But yeah, if you guys don't want to go into the store, I know the world is crazy right now. Keep your little ones safe. Uh, get on the app, get online, whichever. So everything I will be mentioning in this video is on Bye Bye Baby. So I will do my best to link things. If I forget something, let me know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just get started. I wrote a list last night just to think of products that we actually like cannot live without, Gray and me as well. The first product that I would highly recommend is the Hatch Baby Sleep Machine. This machine, I think I like it more than Gray likes it because I am somebody that has to have a fan going when they sleep. Like I have to have noise and fun fact, Austin hates when I put it on this noise, but I love the washing machine noise. I just love the ch 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 I just love that noise. So I always put that on. I would, I cannot sleep without it. I don't know about Gray, but I cannot sleep without it. That is a lifesaver for me because before Gray was born, I would sleep with a fan like right in my face. But obviously I can't do that because you know, Gray's right next to the bed. So, and I really just use it for the sound anyways. So. Are you saying hi to everybody? I'm talking to them about how I keep the hatch machine on the washer, on the washer sound. That's not a washer sound, that's static. Oh, it's TV the static. Sound. Yeah, it's the static sound. Hey, let's say hi to everybody. Ooh, big girl. <laughs> say hi. I don't know what happened to her head right here. Say, we didn't even get ready today. We didn't brush your hair. We didn't put clothes on you. Huh? Say hi. I love you. But anyways, yeah, I really love the hatch machine. I emphasized I love the hatch machine, but it's also really helpful if you guys are trying to get into a sleep routine. I would really recommend associating things with your baby's sleep. So like bath time, she knows it's bedtime when she gets a bath and she knows it's bedtime when she's swaddled. She also knows it's bedtime once we turn that hatch machine on. So um, we really love it. I really love it. It's great. You just click Gray's room, our room. So you can turn it on, you can turn down the volume and stuff, turn the brightness on or off. I like to keep it off, I just like the sound. This next thing, I'm not going to show too long because her boogies are in it. It's from Frida, Frida Baby, Frida Mom. Um, it's the nose sucker. I personally do not use that, but I will say ever since I got that, her nose has been so clear. I can't put like the little, um, like actual nose things that you squeeze and like the silicone things. Um, she's crying in there, he's, she's, he's changing her butt. We have a guest for today's video, but um, anyways, anyways, yeah, the nose sucker, I don't even know, the Frida, Frida baby, um, it's really great. So Austin is the only one that sucks her boogers out because I'm scared of that thing, but that thing is so powerful for what it is. Um, it gets all her boogies out, doesn't hurt her, so all you do is you put this thing in her nose, you just blow the boogies in here, and it's really great. It's the only thing that i found that... Um, really gets her boogers out. Okay, let's talk about swaddles because I feel like there's so many on the market. Um, when I was searching for swaddles, I could not find like set in stone, like this is the best swaddle to use because there's so many amazing brands. Um, I will say when she was first born, we put her in these Swaddle Me swaddles. They've got a bunch of cute little prints, but um, she just now grew out of these probably a couple weeks ago. These are really great. A lot of people don't recommend them because they are Velcro and your baby can bust out of them. 
your baby's going to grow out of whatever swaddle you put them in. These were really great. They held her arms down. Um, and she was really tight and cozy in here. So I really did love these. She broke out of them probably, um, probably around two and a half months. Um, she started to not like to be being swaddled in here. And I realized that she wanted to move her arms more. So we put her in this love to dream swaddle. Um, this is, she's also grown out of this one. So, um, I got to get a bigger size, which that's really great that these come in like different sizes. We really love these. They have some feet room in there. Um, sadly, she's grown out of this as well. Uh, right now, we are just putting her in just normal PJs. She's just not swaddled at all anymore. I forgot what I was talking about, but these were really great for the amount of time that we used them. I so when she was like born born, like right out of the womb, uh, we put her in these little, I don't even think they're swaddles, they're just over knotted gowns. These are also really great. Um, she sadly never got a chance to wear this one, but these are really great too, easy for diaper changes. I have this electric nail filer. I have never tried to clip her nails with actual nail clippers. It just scares the crap out of me. Even this at first, I was like, oh my gosh, but this does not hurt them. Even if you get it on your skin, it doesn't hurt at all. So this is really great if you guys are super nervous about nail clippers, clipping your baby's nails. These are great. And then you have like these, these little files right here. Oh, they're all getting messed up. But as they, as your baby grows, you like go up with the nail files. So moving on to feeding, um, you guys know I posted um, some photos on Instagram explaining, you know, why we aren't breastfeeding anymore. Um, she just really could never latch. So I ended up switching to exclusively pumping and I just now gave it up um, just because I, I explained it more on that Instagram post. But um, anyways, blah, blah, blah. She's on formula, it's working great for her. Um, but when we switched to exclusively pumping, I needed bottles and I wasn't sure what bottles were great, you know? Um, everyone recommended like Advent bottles, everyone recommended um, Tommy Tippy. Um, none of those worked other than Dr. Brown's. I don't have like the actual bottle, but I have the parts. And if you guys use Dr. Brown's bottles, the only thing that's super annoying is you have so many parts to wash, but these are really great. So this little guy right here kind of stops the flow of the milk and it doesn't like drown them in milk. So, um, or actually this helps with air, but that also helps them, you know, not choke on their milk and stuff like that. Um, we really, really love Dr. Brown's. Gray just gets a better eat from them, feed from them. So, um, these are really, really great. Speaking of, you know, on the formula side, um, we got the baby Brezza and that thing has been a lifesaver. I know making formula is so easy. You just put the water and then, you know, the formula, uh, but at night, um, when she's like screaming her head off, all I have to do is press a button. It's already mixed. It's already warm for her. It's not as chunky too. So, you know, when you like mix your formula, you have like little chunks in your bottle. The baby Brezza just really, it's just a really nice flow of formula and water. It's not chunky. Uh, there's no air bubbles in it or anything. So we, we have been really, really loving the baby Brezza. I know. So I know I shared it on Instagram as well. I'm just having a party over there on Instagram. But I shared on Instagram that we were using the Baby Brezza and a lot of people were like, it didn't work for me. Um, we got a really nice one. I know it's like hit or miss with Baby Brezza with the amount of like formula and water. I know sometimes it's off. Um, I, I can't really tell, but she seems to be getting a, a good feed. We really love it. It's super easy, super convenient. The only thing that sucks is, you know, washing it every like every three feeds, you have to wash it. Yeah, we really love the Baby Brezza. It's been really great for us. So wanted to mention that. If you guys were on formula, gonna go on formula. It's not really necessarily something that you need. It's kind of more of a want, but I wanted it and it was, it, it was great, great. So this thing I didn't want to put in the video because so many people have their opinions on this product, but it has saved us. I will go more into depth about Gray's sleep schedule, how she sleeps, what has helped for us. Like I said, everyone is going to, you know, have their different opinions on products, but we absolutely love the Docatot, okay? You can, if you don't like the Docatot, you can do the Snuggle Me. I know that one's really great, but we just have the Docatot and we love it. It's just, it's perfect. And like I said, I'll go more into depth about how we use it in another video, but the Docatot is really, really great if you guys were thinking about getting it. Another product that we recently have been using a crap ton is her little, um, I guess, I don't wanna say it's like a sit me up. I don't even know what they're called, 
But um, like when I'm cooking dinner, Gray likes to see us and she doesn't like to think that we're like not in the room with her. So when I'm cooking dinner, I'll set this little chair on the counter and I'll just stick her in it. It doesn't move, um, it's really sturdy. So we really love it. We just sit her in it while we cook dinner, while we eat dinner, or while we just need to clean the house a little bit. Um, it's got like little toys on it so she can play with it. We absolutely love this thing. We put her in it every single day um, while we cook dinner and just get stuff done. So another thing that keeps Gray busy is her little um, her little play mat. We got this and we absolutely love it. She I feel like it, it's really taught her how to use her hands because she'll grab for the toys and everything. Um, we love this thing. We layer on it again when we want to get stuff done. Babies need to be occupied by multiple different things. So if one thing works for like an hour, put her in the other thing that works. So we kind of we kind of switched throughout like the sit me up. I don't even know what it's called, like the little chair thing, and then the play mat. So we absolutely love it so much. It's great for tummy time as well. But speaking of tummy time, I did buy a little tummy time mat because she needed to be elevated. We don't use it as much as she should, but um, she really likes it. And I feel like tummy time is a lot more easier with a product like this. Another product that we loved, and I say loved as in past tense because we don't really use it anymore, is the Boppy. So I have the Boppy and I also have the Boppy Lounger. Those are two completely different things. The Boppy pillow was really great, you know, for breastfeeding when I was and um, just to like sit them up on. But we really used it when we went home so that Gray could meet our family. We used it for Austin's grandma, which she like she needs a little bit more help holding Gray, so we just kind of stuck it um, around her so that she could hold Gray properly. So that was really helpful. Um, and the little kids, when little kids wanted to hold Gray, um, we would just put the boppy on and have um, Gray propped up on that, and uh, the kids could hold her and all of that stuff. So the boppy was really great. Really, breastfeeding was the main thing I bought it for, and I think that's what it's for is for breastfeeding. I wish I would have brought it to the hospital. Actually, we did bring it, but we didn't bring it up to the hospital. And once we were in the hospital, we couldn't leave because of COVID. Um, so we never could grab our boppy pillow. And I wish I would have had it in the hospital because I was constantly asking Austin to put pillows underneath my arms. So I see a lot of these burp cloths in people's videos. And I'm like, yeah, those are great. But the reason why I don't like these is because, okay, so you put them on your shoulder, you know, whatever. Uh, sometimes gray spits up so much that this is not enough fabric for me. I need like a blanket for it to burp her. Um, so we had a ton of these muslin blankets and these, well, these are actually swaddles, uh, but they're just like really thin, not super stretchy. So we did use this for a while, um, before I realized that I need, I need more. I, this is not enough. So I switched to these as burp cloths and they have been so great. Okay. I know like this is a lot of fabric for burp. But I need, I need to have her right here. I need to have more fabric access to like to clean up her spit. If if it's on me, I need more. I need more fabric to wipe it off of me. So this is this just ain't it. Okay, I can't do the little burp cloths. I need something big like this. And I feel like no one talks about that. I haven't heard anyone that does this. But I I need a whole blanket for a burp session. Okay. Last thing I want to talk about is pacifiers. So we have so many brands of passies and. Honestly, we haven't even tried any any of the other passies that we have. She loves the bibs passies, so those have been a lifesaver. Um, we really we really like them. I like the shape of the passy because it's not too big, it's not too small, and she can have a good grip on it. So we really love it. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Oh, I do want to say we did get a wipe warmer, or not a wipe warmer. We don't have a wipe warmer. Um, for some reason, my baby is broken, and she loves cold wipes. She. Like if she's crying, she'll immediately stop when the wipe hits her butt. I don't know. You hear babies not liking wipes because they're cold, but my child loves cold wipes. Um, bottle warmer is what I was gonna say. I was on Twitter the other day and this girl posted things that you do not need as a first time mom and a bottle warmer was on there and I was like, what? I use a bottle warmer every single day, okay? I used it more when we were heating up my stash of breast milk. Um, because just the sink wasn't doing it and then you'd waste so much water. So having a bottle warmer was amazing. You do have to watch out though because sometimes it can make it too hot and then you have to wait to feed your baby like 10 minutes so it could cool down. And 10 minutes is a very long time for a screaming baby, I will say. It's a very long time. So I learned my lesson. So yeah, that is, that's everything that we love. Um, like I said, I'll try to leave everything linked down below. Let me know in the comments what you guys are loving, what has saved you as a first time mom or just a mom in general. 
Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for Bye Bye Baby for sponsoring today. Still cannot believe it. That's just so crazy. I will leave their website linked down below as well as everything else. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.